This is a video to show you how to make a bar graph from the results of the viscosity experiment you either did at school or you are completing for task four for the experiment in the Google Classroom. Okay, firstly, in task four, click on the video, fast forward to three minutes and 17 seconds. You'll see this screen here. You need to choose six of these liquids. Ignore the first column. We don't need to worry about the two zeros and the dot dots. We just want the second column, the seconds, and the hundredths of a second, okay? Fill in the results there. Uh, if you're not sure what which ones to do, you can just copy mine, okay? And now I'd like to make a bar graph of my results so I can analyze the results. So I'm gonna highlight that copy it, so right click on my cursor and copy. And now I want to go to the dots either in my Gmail or um, in my uh, Google Drive. Click on Sheets, open a new sheet, and we're gonna use the sheet to make a bar graph. Click on a blank sheet. When the sheet opens, click on any rectangle Again, right click on my cursor, paste it in. My table's there, it's already highlighted. Now I need to go to insert, chart. And now Google Sheets is gonna make a chart for me. And I wanna copy this chart into my Google document. So click on the three dots there, click copy. And then cursor in the box there, again, right click and click paste. Don't need to link it to the spreadsheet. Okay, and you can see from the graph that Honey has a very, took a very long time, over 20 seconds to flow. So Honey is very viscous. It has a high viscosity. Water, the opposite, is very quick, very fast to flow. So it has a low viscosity. It's not very viscous or thick. Okay, and you can write that in your conclusion.